If you think your decaf coffee doesn't come with a jolt, you could be wrong. We visited 10 local coffee shops and restaurants on a Monday morning. Hardee's, Dunkin' Donuts, Chick-fil-A, Sheets, Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, Panera, Mill Mountain Coffee, and Stop In. At each one, we ordered a cup of decaf. Then we took all 10 to Virginia Tech's Food Science and Technology Department. And use this to try to quantify the concentration of caffeine. Associate Professor Sean O'Keefe prepared the samples for testing to find out how many milligrams of caffeine are in eight ounces of coffee from each shop. The government doesn't have any laws about how much caffeine can be in decaf coffee, and there's no one to police that. But the FDA does have suggested guidelines. Using those, that means our samples should contain less than five milligrams of caffeine. All of our decaf samples did have caffeine, but most were in that suggested range for eight ounces of coffee. From Burger King, 2.9 milligrams. Stop in, 3.5 milligrams. Starbucks, 3.6 milligrams. Mill Mountain Coffee, 4.1 milligrams. Sheets, 4.4 milligrams, and McDonald's, 4.6 milligrams. And two were just over 5 milligrams. Panera measured 5.1 milligrams and Hardee's 5.8 milligrams. But coffee from two stores was significantly higher. The decaf brew from Chick-fil-A had 8.3 milligrams of caffeine, and Dunkin' Donuts coffee had the most caffeine, 11 milligrams. That's more than double the amount of caffeine we expected to find in there. Assuming somebody is expecting not to get caffeine at all or a very small amount of caffeine, it's a little bit more than I would expect. But O'Keefe points out that is still much less caffeine than you would find in a cup of regular coffee. An eight ounce cup usually contains anywhere from 60 to 120 milligrams of caffeine. I talked to Chick-fil-A spokesman Don Perry. Remember, that coffee had 8.3 milligrams of caffeine. This was on the higher end of our, our spectrum when we did our test, and that's why we wanted to talk to you about it. What we have from our manufacturer is a 1.5 milligram to 8. So you're within the uh, range that is expected from the type of coffee we use. Nothing alarming about that. And Dunkin' Donuts, our highest caffeine level at 11 milligrams, also responded to the test. Spokesman Andrew Mastrangelo says the coffee we bought is likely representative of regular Dunkin' Donuts original blend coffee, not Dunkin' decaf. This may have resulted from a shop employee serving the wrong cup of coffee to the customer. If that's the case, that means the Dunkin' Donuts regular coffee was at least one-sixth the strength of what you'd expect from a regular cup of joe. Master Angelo did go on to say, This is the first time we've been made aware of an error of this type, and we're working with our employees to reemphasize the importance of properly handling decaffeinated coffee. We regret the error. So, bottom line, decaf doesn't mean caffeine free. If you really want to avoid caffeine, you're better off drinking water, I think, than decaffeinated coffee if you want to avoid it altogether. With us on your side, Consumer Investigation, Juliet Bickford, News Channel 10.